ओके सो गाइज आई थिंक आई एम ऑडेबल एंड विजिबल टू एवरी वन कैन यू कन्फर्म इन द चैट या सो यप आई थिंक आई एम विजिबल ऑल्सो माई वॉइस इज क्लियर सो प्लीज डू कन्फर्म इन द चैट गाइज इफ माई वॉइस इज क्लियर क्लियर ओके ग्रेट so let's wait for uh, two more minute uh, i think uh, people are still joining so we'll start uh, within two minute so we'll start by 310 uh, pm ist uh, still people are joining so we'll wait for two more minute guys i think from my side uh, everything is fine my uh, voice is coming my uh, video is visible so please try to check from your side as well uh so you connected your headphone and all uh, i think uh, uh just just check everything is working fine or not yes so i think uh we can start with the session now so yeah uh, welcome again uh, so you all are welcome in this uh, comedy session generative ai comedy session uh yesterday we have started this uh, generative ai comedy session where we have discussed about the generative ai so there i have given you the introduction related to the generative ai and large language models and here you can find out the video so this is a dashboard uh, uh it's a free dashboard actually uh, which we have created for all of you the same video actually it is available over the iniron uh, youtube channel as well if you will go in a live section so this uh, same video you can find it out over there as well now uh, let me show you uh, that particular video so here is my youtube now let me search over here iniron and uh, here guys uh go inside this uh, live section and this is the video so the same video same lecture you will be able to find out inside the live section apart from this uh the same uh, thing basically we are uploading over the i neuron dashboard and here along with the video you will find out the resources so all the uh, resources basically whatever i am using throughout the session uh, so whatever notes and all uh, which i am writing and whatever ppts and all or whatever code file i am using throughout the session you will find out all the resources over here got it guys yes or no so do you have this dashboard do you have this dashboard tell me i think uh, many people uh, enrolled yesterday uh, for this a uh, free community session and uh, yes all the videos and all uh, basically we are going to upload over here not even video and resources along with the video and resources you will find out the a uh, live uh, you will find out the quizzes and assignment as well so already uh, i have prepared the quizzes and assignment so soon it will be uploaded over here so in this particular video you will find out one more section so the section will be quizzes and assignment so there you will find out a uh, like a, a video related or a topic related quizzes and assignment got it yes or no 
सो प्लीज गिव मी अ क्विक कन्फर्मेशन इन द चैट इफ दिस डैशबोर्ड रिलेटेड थिंग एंड दिस वीडियो रिलेटेड थिंग इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम वेटिंग फॉर योर रिप्लाई इन द चैट and if you have any sort of a doubt then you can ask me in the uh, like chat section as well and don't worry my team will give you the link of the dashboard so if you haven't enrolled so far so uh, by using that particular link definitely you can enroll it you can enroll uh, inside the dashboard <coughs> great all clear all clear great fine so here i got a confirmation now uh, so let's start with the session let's start with the uh, second uh, day so in the first day actually so what i discuss i discuss about the generative ai so where i have uh, like told you that what is a generative ai so this is the slide basically which i was using and here actually this was the agenda the complete agenda which i am going to discuss this uh, throughout this committee session and uh, today is the second day where i will start from this open ai so in the previous session i was talking about this generative ai and i discuss each and everything related to this generative ai and i hope you got a clear cut idea that what is a generative ai and uh, uh, in the generative ai actually what all things comes into the picture where llms lies so if we are talking about this large language model so regarding the large language model also i have clarify each and everything i have given you the complete timeline of this large language model where i have discuss about the uh, the complete history of the large language model from the rnn so first i have started from the rnn then i came to the lstm then uh, i discussed about the uh, different different sequence to sequence mapping i talked about the encoder and decoder and after that i have explained you the uh, the concept of the attention and then i have uh, discussed about the attention is all your need uh, the transformer architecture and i told you that whatever llms which you are seeing nowadays so those uh, all the llms are using transformer as a base architecture so i have explained you the uh, the uh, like uh, whatever thing was there inside the transformer architecture whatever component whatever segment was there each and everything i have discussed over there and apart from this a uh, generative ai i have talked about this llm also so there i have talked about that what is a llm why it is called large language model and uh, why it is so powerful because this one uh, because this one llm is able to perform lots of uh, like task lots of uh one uh, basically llm uh, we can use for the different different type of application so here uh, i have written the couple of name like text generation summarizer translation or code generation and so on we all know about the chat gpt uh, chat gpt is a application and uh, chat gpt is using gpt3 gpt3 as a a uh, base model so gpt 3.5 actually it's a base model so how uh, it is how much it is powerful we all know about it and that is a example of the large language model which is capable to do so many things why because uh, it is having a power so uh, so that actually it can generate a it can generate a data based on a previous data it can understand the pattern and because of that only we are able to trans we are able to use this transformer as a or whatever like transformer based model we have we are able to use those transformer based model as a transfer learning i have explained you the concept of the transfer learning and the fine tuning as well so here i was talking about this llm and then i talked about the few milestone in a large language model so here i have written couple of name bird gpt xlm t5 megatron m2m so these are the uh like a few milestone in a large language model now this model has been trained on a huge amount of data now specifically we are talking about gpt so in a gpt family itself you will find out of various model i will talk about it i will come to the open ai and each and everything i will keep in front of you only and uh, i will uh, i will show you that how much it is powerful so we are talking about gpt so it's like really powerful and it it has been trained on a like huge amount of data and it is having a billions of parameter so here is few milestone so in our back days in our history basically we are using this particular models now in a recent day we got uh, so many uh, architecture so many uh, open source models and all so i will talk about uh, regarding those model as well so here in the next slide i have shown you 
so what all encoder based architecture we have what all decoder based architecture we have if we are talking about encoder and decoder right so in which architecture you will find out both encoder and decoder if we are talking about bert xlm electra dberta so these all are uh, these all the architecture actually it is based on a an encoder if we are talking about this gpt gpt family so it's a based on a decoder itself and the idea has been taken from the transformer itself now here you can see the t5 bart m2m big bird so these are the model which are which is using this encoder and decoder both got it so now here uh, then i talked about the open ai based llm model so here uh, the very first thing comes into the picture that is a gpt itself gpt 3.5 which is a like base model behind this chat gpt chat gpt just a application it's not a model now here you will find out this delhi whisper da vinci there are many model i will be coming to that particular model and i will show you how you can get all the model from the open ai itself and uh, yes we'll try to use those model for our task for our uh, like a uh, for the for our like a uh, like a requirements and all uh, definitely will try to use this particular model like gpt gpt 3.5 i will show you how you can use gpt 3.5 turbo whisper da vinci or other model as well like embedding and moderation so apart from that uh, this apart from this uh, like uh, milestone whatever milestone i shown you and this uh, open ai based model here you will find out some other open source model like bloom llama 2 palm is a model it's a very famous model from the google side nowadays like uh, most of the people are using this palm falcon is a model cloud is there mpt 30 uh, mpt is there uh, this 30b actually it is showing a parameter right and here we have a stable i am so uh, stable lm so there are like so, so many open source model so i will come to that also and i will show you how you can utilize those particular model and apart from that i have uh, like kept some uh, more slide over here inside this particular ppt so you can go through with that and you can understand some other uh, like concept like how this chat gpt has been trained and all so i hope guys till here everything is fine everything is clear now we can move to the practical part so please do let me know in the chat if everything is clear so far in terms of theory guys i'm uh, waiting for your reply <clears throat> oh just a wait so let me give you the link of the website and uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, guys. I'm waiting for your reply. So, if you can confirm in the chat, uh, uh, like everything is fine or not, so that I can proceed with the practical stuff. <laughs> yeah, definitely. This uh, PPT is already there. So, just try to enroll in this course, the dashboard basically, basically which we have created. This is our dashboard, which you will find out over the iNeuron website. So, just try to log in to your iNeuron website. First of all, if see, if you are a new person, so what you need to do, you need to sign up. After sign up. uh you will log in and after log in you will search uh regarding this dashboard so here actually what is the name of the dashboard so the name of the dashboard is generative ai community edition so just click on this dashboard and here after clicking on this dashboard you will it will ask to you whether you want to enroll or not so yes uh you will click on the enroll and it is completely free so it won't ask you any sort of a money and after enrolling into this particular course uh you can get the videos and you can get the resources as well so all the resources we have uploaded over here inside this resource section got it clear great so i think everything is fine everything is clear now let's start with the uh let's start with the practical implementation So first of all, guys, uh, let me clarify the agenda. That what all thing we are going to discuss in today's session. So for that, what I am going to do, I am going to open my blackboard, and here I will try to explain you each and everything, uh, like what what whatsoever we are going to like cover in this particular session. So uh, let's start. Uh, let me write it down all the thing step by step. Now first of all, I can write it down over here a day two community session. and then i will begin with the topic so here guys our day 2 of the community session now uh yesterday actually i talked about the introduction part uh, i talked about the introduction of the generative ai and the llm 
Now today I will be more focusing on the open AI. So here I will be discussing about the open AI. So first I will give you the uh, like a complete walkthrough of the open AI website of the open AI documentation. After that, I will come to the open AI API that how you can use this open AI API, how you can use this open AI API and this API we are going to use by using this Python. So guys, if you, you know Python, so definitely uh, like uh, you will be able to write a code along with me uh, and don't worry, I will show you how to do the en entire environment setup and all each and everything I will try to uh, I will try to do in front of you uh, from a very scratch. So uh, you all can do along with me. Now over here, I will come to this OpenAI API and there I am going to use Python and we have a couple of more options like uh, Node.js and all. So if you are uh, familiar with the JavaScript uh, or uh, maybe some with other language, so uh, in that case also you can use this OpenAI API. After that, I will, uh, I will come to the OpenAI Playground. So here uh, they have given you very specific feature or very uh, like uh, very interesting feature that is what that is a OpenAI Playground. So over here, I will explain you that uh, how you can use a different different model, how you can uh, like uh, pass a different different prompts and how you can generate an output, how you can set up your uh, like a different different uh, sentiments and all regarding the system that okay, so uh, my system should behave like this or that. So each and everything I will explain you over here. And after that, what I will do, I will show you the chat completion API. So I will use this chat completion, chat completion. And by using this chat completion, actually, uh, we can call the GPT model. So whatever, uh, like, uh, we can call the like uh, OpenAI API, and uh, with that, definitely we can use any sort of a model, like a GPT model or any other model. So first, I will uh, start with the OpenAI API. We'll use, we'll be using a Python over here, and I will show you how you can generate the OpenAI key. And after that, I will come to the playground and assistant and then chat completion API. And then I will explain you the concept of the function call function call. Now, this is the agenda for today's session. This is the agenda for today's community class. Now, uh, before starting with the open AI, I will, uh, I will explain you that why open AI is this much important. Why not other? other like things or uh, if uh, we have uh, like a uh, other competitor of the open AI that why we are not using that instead of this open AI and if we are going to use that then how we can do that okay and one more thing I would like to explain you over here so along with the open AI I will uh, talk about the hugging face so see over the hugging face actually hugging face is has provided you one uh, hugging face hub for all the models so there you will find out all the open source model so directly you can generate a hugging face api key and you can utilize all sort of a model whatever is there over the hugging face hub yesterday i have shown you that let me show you again uh, that particular hub so guys here once you will write it down so uh, over the google so once you will search uh, once you will write it down hugging face model hub so there uh, you will get a link and you just need to click on that so here you will uh, and then basically it will be redirecting to you to this particular model hub. Now here you will find out all the open source model from a different different organization. So yesterday I was talking about this Orca 2. Now here you will find out other model as well like uh, Whisper Large V3. Now from the Facebook side there is a seamless. Okay. Now here you will find out uh, other model as well. So see from the meta side, there is a Llama, Llama 2. So I will show you how you can utilize these particular model for the different, different tasks according to your requirement. Getting my point. So we will not restrict it. Uh, we will not restrict to ourselves to the, op till the open AI itself. Apart from that, we'll try to explore few other model, few other open source model. And yesterday, actually I've shown you one more platform. And here's the platform AI 21 studio. So it, it gives you one model, this Jurassic model. So we can utilize that particular model also. And this all are called large language model. This idea, this thing is clear to all of you. Yes or no. So, uh, what is the difference between hugging face and open AI? So open AI is a different organization. Hugging face is a different organization. And over the hugging face up, see, uh, if you have heard about this Docker uh, or this GitHub, so first of all, let me show you this GitHub. So if I'm searching about this GitHub, so here actually over the GitHub, you will find out uh, like, uh, see, this is my GitHub. And uh, 
you all have uh, the github id right you all have login to the github and all and first you sign up and then you log in and whatever course and all you are having and definitely you are going to upload it over here uh, in terms of repository now let's see if i if i have to find out something so what i will do here let's say if i'm going to write it down github machine learning uh, linear regression so github machine learning machine learning linear regression so here if i will search uh, like this then definitely i will get a link and here you can see so it has suggested me one repository and you will find out uh, this uh, code and all whatever code and all has been uh, uploaded by this particular person and definitely you can download it and you can use it similarly we have a docker hub similarly we have a docker hub so let me show you the docker hub so the docker hub actually you will find out all the images and all so let's say uh, like uh, you downloaded docker in your system you did setup and all now uh, you don't want to install it from scratch you want to run it by a docker so yes there is a docker hub and there you will find out a uh, different different images and all so you can uh, like uh, you can pull that image and definitely you can run it inside your container so similarly we have a hugging face hub there uh, like it is a uh, it is going to provide you a different different model actually on a single place so yes uh, just uh, you just need to log in over there and after that you need to generate an api key and directly you can use those particular model whatever is there uh, like over the hugging face hub now similarly we have openai it's a other another organization so yes by using the openai api we can access the openai model as well so here uh, okay so if you will find out if you will see to this openai this one this is the openai right now i will show you what all models this openai is having it is having a different different model various model i will come to that i will show you from very scratch so till here everything is fine guys everything is clear so uh, just give me a quick quick confirmation so that i can show you the entire setup related to this openai api and we can run a couple of uh, like couple couple of line of code as well so please do let me know in the chat if uh, everything is clear so far. Yes, we'll talk about the fine tuning and all. So how we can uh, do the fine tuning regarding a different different model. Uh, it's not a like easy task. It's a, a very expensive thing. So we'll talk about it. <coughs> yes, hugging face model are free. Yes, correct. For building a model, uh, so for using, uh, if you want to use that particular model, so either I can use OpenAI, so or else I can use Hugging Face. See, whatever model is there over the Hugging Face, definitely we can access that. But let's say OpenAI is having there, uh, like a, uh, it's a separate platform, right? So whatever model is there over the OpenAI, so we'll be able to access those model only from the OpenAI, not all the model which is there inside the Hugging Face also. But Hugging Face actually is having all the models open source and all whatever model is there and some of the model from the open ai side as well but open ai actually it's a specific a specific one a specific organization clear yes or no so please do let me know if uh, this thing is clear to all of you so that i can proceed with the uh, next part next section <coughs> great so people are saying sir it is clear 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 okay great yeah the model is already created over the hugging face and open eye they already trained the model we don't have all the models in the hugging face that's why we are uh, learning this open eye <coughs> great so i think uh, all the thing uh, like each and everything is clear to all of you now let's start with the uh, like uh, next part of this session so here i have uh, discussed about this open ai and this hugging face and i clarify the agenda that what all thing we are going to discuss but before starting with the open ai so let me give you the uh, brief introduction of the open ai that why this open ai is too much important so for that what i did i have created one small ppt so with that actually you will get some uh, uh, some uh, basic idea uh, regarding this open ai so here uh, let me start uh, let me start the slide show 
So over here, guys, you can see about the OpenAI. If we are talking about the OpenAI, so what is the OpenAI? OpenAI is a leading company in the field of AI. It was founded in 2015 as a non-profit organization by Sam Altman and Elon Musk. As we know about the uh, founder of the uh, like OpenAI, so yes, uh, I think we all uh, we are aware about uh, with this particular names, right? Sam Altman and this Elon Musk, and it has founded in 2015 as a non-profit organization just for the research purpose now here in the next slide i have uh, kept the name so he's a like uh, he's a uh, ceo of the open ai uh, sam altman and uh, yes i think you know about the sam altman he was fired by the open ai board we'll talk about that also what what uh, might be the reason behind that so uh, we'll, we'll discuss about that uh, uh, as well now over here you can see uh, OpenAI founded in uh, 2015 and the company founded with the goal of developing and promoting friendly AI in a responsible way. That was the logo of the OpenAI. So with a focus on transparency and open research and he was the and uh, they are the founder member of the uh, like uh, OpenAI. So Elon Musk, Sam Altman, Greg Brockman. Okay, this guy is a like great researcher and Wozniak and Zon. So these are the founder, founding member of the OpenAI. Now over here, our uh, OpenAI goals. So there are some goals of the OpenAI related to the AI and all. Now OpenAI milestone. So I was talking about that, why this OpenAI is too much important? Why not others? Because if you will look into the market, there are other, uh, there, uh, there are, you will find out other organization as well. Uh, so we have a Google and Google is having their separate department, Google uh, AI research and all. So Microsoft is also having their uh, own department for the AI research. Even Meta is having that, even IBM. So all the like big, big giant. So they are, they are having their own research uh, like department related to this AI and all. And they are working on that. And they were working on that actually. But why this open AI is too much popular and why we should start from the open AI itself. So you know about the OpenAI, in 2020 actually, they have launched the ChatGPT. And guys, believe me, it was the milestone and it was the major breakthrough in the history of the AI. Because before that also, we were having uh, so many LLM model and it was able to do uh, some sort of a thing, but not like to, not similar like to this GPT. This GPT actually, the GPT model, which is a backbone of this ChatGPT application, uh, it was a, a breakthrough in the history of the NLP and because of this, this open AI came into the limelight and uh, apart from the GPT, then uh, uh, like they have shown or they have released the uh, other uh, different different research. So here, here uh, I have written couple of name basically. So uh, generative model is one of the milestone of the open AI. Now apart from that, uh, you will see that uh, they are going to, uh, they are going to participate in the robotic research and all. And here, uh, like other, uh, like other uh, few more thing basically. So solving uh, a Rubik cube with a robot hand, and here multi-model neurons in artificial uh, neural network. You can search about uh, this particular things. And yes, uh, this OpenAI actually it become a uh, very uh, important uh, basically because of this uh, like GPT and all because of this uh, Chat GPT application and. Uh, Yes, they were using a different technique uh, for uh, training this uh, GPT model, which we are using uh, for the chat GPT and the idea from where they took the idea uh, for training this uh, GPT model. There we have unsupervised learning, we have a supervised learning and we have this reinforcement learning. So they took from the ULM fit research paper. Yesterday I have shown you that which has been published in 2018 and in, 2009, in 2020 actually they have released this GPT, chat GPT. Got it? Now here you can see built in with OpenAI API. So these are couple of name, GitHub Copilot, Keeper Tags, Bible, Duolingo. So these are some application which is using this OpenAI API. And apart from that, you will find out. So what is the OpenAI vision? So the vision is like uh, promote a friendly AI in a uh, way that benefit all the humanity and all. So this is a vision of the OpenAI. Now feature, so chat GPT, Dali, Whisper, Alignment. So these are the feature of the open AI. Chat GPT is a, a milestone. Delhi is also there, Delhi 2. Recently they have, uh, they have released the Delhi 2. Whisper is uh, one of them. Whisper actually, it is a very good mood model for generating a transcript and all. So uh, whatever like text we are giving or uh, whatever like videos we are giving to this particular model, 
it is able to generate a transcript from that and here uh, alignment is there startup fund so these are some uh, feature of the open ai now guys uh before starting with the open ai api i think you got enough amount of idea uh regarding this open ai yes or no please do let me know in the chat if uh this part is clear so i will proceed with the uh open ai api so how you can generate a key and all and how you can utilize that <coughs> yes are you getting guys whatever i am explaining you over here uh if you have any sort of a doubt anything so you can ask me in a chat section i will reply to all of your doubts so step by step we'll try to proceed uh, and uh, so each and everything will be clarified great so clear yes waiting for your reply uh if you can write it on the chat so then i will proceed what is the learn to what is the aim to learn open ai so that i can utilize the same capability same ai capability in my application whatever model has been trained by the open ai so that i can use the same model in my application for a different different task great so i think i have uh, discussed each and everything related to the open ai now this is the website of the open ai so if you will uh, search open ai definitely will get a website of that so in the website itself they have mentioned everything so latest update whatever uh, latest update and all it is there so they are mentioning over here and sam altman return as a ceo of the open ai i think you know about this uh, controversy of the open ai so let me uh, give you some sort of a glimpse of that uh if you know about the open ai so it was founded as a non profit organization but uh in 2019 actually they have uh, started with their uh for profit organization as well if you will search about the for profit organization of uh, for profit organization of this open ai so in 2019 actually they have started this a uh, for profit organization and uh, it was doing a uh, lots of work uh, regarding this ai and all and they collected uh, like uh, funds from uh, different different companies and all from a uh, big big giants and uh, they were working on the gpt model itself okay now after that uh, this chat gpt has been released and in 2022 actually 2022 on 23 basically so uh, they started work on a uh, like a different type of project so the project name was the q star the uh, uh basic the project name was the q star and it was more specific to it was more specific to towards this agi so may i know guys what is the full form of the agi <coughs> if if you know uh, the full form of the agi so please write it down in the chat what what do you uh, understand with this agi so the full form of the agi is please write it down in the chat if you know about the full form of the agi please do it yes artificial general intelligence correct so the full form of the agi is artificial general intelligence actually see if you are talking about the chat gpt you na know, this particular application it's not it is not representing a general artificial intelligence it is a restricted one it's a specific one getting my point so let's say there one side there is a chat gpt and one side there is a human so definitely this chat gpt can answer in a better way it can generate a an answer in a better way compared to this human but still it is not like a human so still we are not on that particular level where we can achieve a artificial intelligence like a human that is called artificial general intelligence and the project name was given by this a uh, open ai the project name was the q star and that was happening in the for profit organization this is the subsidiary of the open ai itself getting my point now because of that uh, so there was a conflict in between the board member and uh, this uh, sam altman was fired and now again he uh, joined the company uh, there is a long story but yeah i have given you the glimpse you can search over the internet and you can uh, read about it uh, okay so if you like to read the ai news and all ai related news is uh, news and all so definitely uh, uh, you should check it on a daily basis because on a daily basis there is something is happening 
on a tech side on a uh, like organization side uh, whatsoever so over here guys uh here you can see the open air website now if i will scroll down so you will find out each and everything over here itself that what all research is there uh, what all uh, upcoming models is there uh, on whatever applications they are working so each and everything actually you will find out over here itself so here uh, recently they have released this delhi 3 so in october uh, 2023 3rd of october 2023 they have released this delhi 3 there was a gpt4 gpt4 vision where we can uh, upload the images and uh, we can do a uh, lots of uh, lots of uh, tasks related to the images and all getting my point so here you will find out a research whatever latest research is there from the open ai side no need to go anywhere everything you will find out over here itself if you want to start from the open ai if you are using this open ai in your organization if you want to use it and before that if you want to explore it so please go through with the website and here you will find out each and everything now guys here is the question i told you that why uh what is the open ai now why we are learning it i have to give you the specific answer of this particular question if you will ask me sunny why we are learning this open ai what is the main aim so now let me tell you that so first of all guys after opening this open ai website what you need to do you need to log in it you need to log into this particular website and here you will get two options. So the first option is a chat GPT and the second option is a API. So we all know about this chat GPT. I think uh, we all have used this chat GPT and I think we are using it on a daily basis. Now we are not going with this chat GPT. We are going with this API. So I will click on this API option and once I will click on this API option. So I will get this type of interface. So I believe guys, you all are getting this particular interface after clicking on this API. Please do let me know in the chat if uh, everything is uh, uh, like going fine uh, like me. So please do let me know in the chat. <coughs> great so yes i think uh, people are doing along with me now see guys here is what so here is a uh, like open ai api uh, so once you will click on that you will get this particular interface now just uh, hover your mouse left hand side and here you will get a different different option or various option now what you need to do guys so here first of all you need to click on this documentation so just click on this documentation and you will come to this particular page now here you will find out this overview so here they have given you the complete overview about the openai api that uh, what all things they have and uh, for what all uh, applications we can use this openai api now here you will find out the introduction section as well so in the introduction section they have uh, defined some sort of a thing related to a different different tasks like text generation embedding assistant tokens and all now here you will find out the quick start so let's say uh, you want to explore this OpenAI API. So what you will do at the first place. So after opening this OpenAI uh, open API and after opening this uh, after opening this particular documentation, you just need to click on this quick start. So after clicking on this quick start, you will get all the code which initially you need to run inside your system. Getting my point. If you want to use this OpenAI API, if you want to use this OpenAI API and you want to run the code if you want to start then for that what you need to do you just need to click on this quick start and over here you will find out a different different option so let's say you know the node.js so here you can click on this node.js and you will find out entire setup related to this node.js how to install the package how to uh, set the key and all now here you will find out the different different uh like windows different different operating system related option and here you will find out the code snippet so directly you can run it and you can use it now if you are a python lover if uh, you know the python only in that case yes they have given you the option so you just need to click on this uh, python and here you will find out the complete setup guide so how to install a python how to install how to create a virtual environment how to install this open ai library so and after that you will find out this uh, set up uh, OpenAI key uh, regarding this Mac OS and Windows. Now here you'll find out how to uh, request to your OpenAI uh, API, how to request to the different different models. So here is a code snippet. So we are going to use this uh, particular process. Uh, if uh, 
Uh, so yes, you can use the same process. Don't worry, I will show you how you can do the entire setup and all and how you can call the different different model. Now over here, you will find out a model. Now guys, this model actually, this model is a uh, like a very important part of the OpenAI API. Now here they have given you the various model like GPT-4, GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-3.5, Delhi is there, TTS is there, Whisper is there, Embedding, Moderation, GPT-5 is there, GPT-3 which is a legacy now and here you will find out some deprecated model. So here they have given you some uh, deprecated model like uh, GPT-3.5 Turbo with this much of tokens and here you will find out this tax ADA, ADA, tax webage text query, text da Vinci. So these are the deprecated model. You can use it. If it is required, then definitely you can use it. So here you will get a complete list of the model, whatever model you want to use for your task, for your particular task. Now over here, uh, this is the uh, like overview regarding the model. Now if I'm clicking on this GPT 3.5, <clears throat> so once I will click on this GPT 3.5, so here I will get a complete detail regarding this particular model. Now here is a what? Here is a model name. So what is the name of the model? GPT 3.5 Turbo 1106. Okay. Now over here you will find out two things. So the first is what? Context window. Now in the context window you will find out the number of tokens. Now guys this tokens actually the number of tokens this plays a very very important role if we are talking about this token so really it plays a very very important role and i told you if we are giving an input to our model to our llm model so we'll give in the form of prompts and prompt is nothing it's a collection of token so whatever input and output we are getting we are getting in the form of prompts right so we are giving a prompts to our model and we are getting a prompts from our model and this prompt is nothing it's a collection of tokens now we'll talk about this tokens and all then how much token is uh so as a return actually how much token you can get as a output uh, as a free one actually this uh chat this open actually it uh, stopped the free services now so before actually uh you would be getting this uh let me write it down over here so 20 dollar of credit so earlier if you have used this uh open ai so you must have seen that uh, if you are uh, like, uh, if you are going to create an OpenAI API key, so in that case, it was giving you this twenty dollar free credit. Now they have stopped this particular service. Now they are not giving to you. So first of all, what you will have to do? So first of all, you will have to add the method, a payment method actually. So you will have to add your credit card or debit card details, and after that, you will have to set your limit. Let's say twenty dollar, fifty dollar, hundred dollar or whatever uh, like limit uh, actually you find out it, it is fine so inside uh, in that basically in that particular limit uh, my work will be done so first of all uh, you need to add the payment method and you need to set the limit and then only you can use this open api so recently they have updated this particular thing now we have an alternative also so we have this ai21 uh, lab so i will uh, show you this uh, thing as well where we have a jurassic model and it gives you the 90 dollar free, free credit $90 free credit, but you won't be able to use this GPT 3.5 because it is only the, it is only available in this open AI itself. If you want to use this GPT 3.5 model, GPT 3.5 turbo or GPT 4. So it is only available in the open AI itself and they haven't open source it. And for this one, you will have to pay. If you want to use it in your organization in, uh, with respect to your task. So definitely you will have to pay for that. Getting my point now over here, guys, see, uh, it return a maximum of 4096 output token. So regarding this particular model. Now here you can provide this much of tokens actually. So this much of tokens as a uh, input as an input basically and you will get this much of token as an output if you are going to use this particular model. Now here GPT 3.5 turbo. So currently point to GPT 3.5 turbo 0613 will point GPT format turbo 11 uh, starting date. This is, this is a starting date and here this is the token size. Now here, this is the token size basically they have given to you. So you can uh, provide this much of token and here you will be getting output in uh, like as uh, this is the maximum token size actually uh, with respect to this particular model. So you can go and read uh, more about this model and all. And here you will find out this training data. So this uh, model has been trained up to 2021, September 2021. And here, uh, these all are the models. So I will... Uh, use any sort of a model from here itself and i will show you how you can hit it 
by using this Python, OpenAI Python API. Now, uh, apart from that, uh, you will find out some other uh, thing. So let's say if I want to do a text generation, so they have given you the complete detail regarding that. And here they have given you the API endpoint as well. So you can click on that. And here in this particular way, actually, you need to write a uh, prompts and all. You need to define a prompts and all. Uh, so actually this is the uh, ready-made uh, assistant uh, as of now it is not working so you can click on that or you can use it this api endpoint inside your application so uh, here uh, they have given you the code that if you want to perform this particular task this text generation task so directly use this uh, code snippet after setting up the environment and all after uh, generating the open ai key and you can perform this text generation over uh, text generation if uh, this is required according to your uh, like application and all now over here you will find out the other option so uh, embedding is there so embedding is nothing uh, embedding actually you are just going to be uh, convert your uh, text into a uh, some numeric uh, numbers and here uh, this embedding comes into a picture and this uh, this very robust model from the open ai side and definitely you should use it uh, i will show you how you can utilize this particular model and you find you will find out the complete code snippet and all and yes you can generate an embedding regarding your test embedding is nothing it's just a numeric representation of your text now here uh if you want to do a fine tuning so regarding that also you will find out a complete detail so how you can do a fine tuning and all now image generation is also there so if you want to do an image generation so which model you should use from here vision related to the vision also there is a gpt4 now a vision related facilities it is there inside the gpt4 itself text to speech speech to text moderation so no need to train your uh, no need to train your model your uh, nlp model from scratch now so they are giving you everything you just need to call the api and you can utilize it now many people are asking to me that sir what is the aim uh, to learn behind this open ai and all so the aim is very very simple if you want to use this particular model for your uh, uh, different different tasks the task basically which they have mentioned over here you can directly use it you no need to like train it by yourself because this model has been trained on a huge amount of data. Na? That's why it is called LLM. I told you clearly, right? Yesterday, what is the meaning of the LLM? And yes, uh, in most of the cases, in 99% of the cases, it will work fine. If let's say if you want to do a fine tune this particular model, so definitely you required a higher resources. And in that case, you will have to pay to the OpenAI as well. Getting my point. So here you can read uh, entire detail regarding this fine tuning and all. So once I will come to this fine tuning part, I will explain you this uh, thing as well how to do the fine tuning and all regarding this model definitely i'm not going to do it uh, in the live class but yeah i will give you the uh, quick guidance regarding uh, this fine tuning so i hope guys uh this model related thing model related part and this quick start and this introduction and what all capabilities is there so this thing is clear to all of you if it is clear then please do let me know in the chat yes or no so waiting for your reply please do let me know in the chat watch what are the job opportunity after this particular course so after that you can apply as a nlp engineer uh, you can work on a generative ai related project you can work uh, as a uh, generative ai engineer so if you are going to complete this particular course so after that you can join uh, the company uh, like whatever designation i told you on that particular designation and uh, here in an interview do they ask from the scratch inside of using api no they won't ask you that you need to like uh, you just show them like how to use the api and all no they won't ask you this particular thing uh, there you just need to tell you what was your use case which model you have used and uh, what was the cost regarding uh, behind that particular model uh, how you you have designed your prompt template how many tokens basically there uh, you were uh, uh, defining inside your prompt in uh, basically inside the input input prompt and how much tokens basically you were getting inside the output prompt okay so these are the thing uh, like uh, they may I, they might ask you regarding this uh, uh, like open ai uh, api and all and open ai models uh, they won't ask you that uh, generate this key that key or whatever do we need to learn all the underlying math behind the model hugging face and open ai yes the architecture should be clear so the architecture part should be clear uh, architecture means what so uh, the base architecture transformer architecture 
they definitely they might ask you the uh, transformer architecture in one of the interview they have they have asked to me that uh, can you uh, explain me the transformer architecture what is the meaning of the positional encoding why we are using a skip connection over there and can you code it as well so if you want to use this transformer in the python how you can do that which uh, uh, like uh, which library you will call or can you write it down the code from scratch so this type of question you might face if they are going on a architecture level they won't ask you the uh, they won't ask you the architecture of the different different model which is there over the hugging face and all no they won't ask you that so can we proceed now if uh, this part is clear tell me guys fast yes or no i given you the complete walk through of the open ai uh, website open ai api now i will show you how you can utilize it and don't worry guys i will uh, show you the advanced thing as well i will show you the advanced part as well uh, i will show you this function uh, calling and all and uh, first let me complete this uh, uh, chat completion and after that i will come to the function calling great so here uh, i think this thing is clear now let's try to start with a practical implementation so for the practical implementation first of all uh, what you need to do so let me uh, write it on the step all the step so here uh, the first thing what you need to do see uh, you should have uh, you should have this uh, anaconda inside your system i think you know about this anaconda what is this anaconda it's a package uh, it's a package manager for the data science projects and all so you should have this uh, anaconda inside your system the second thing uh, python must be installed python must be installed now here uh, whatever practical which i am going to do so i am going to do by using the jupyter notebook so here let me write it down uh, the jupyter notebook now whatever practical and all whatever i am going to do i am going to use uh, basically i am going to do by using this jupyter notebook in the next class uh, i am going to uh, create a end to end project first of all uh, uh, before starting with the end to end project i will come to the langchain and there i will explain you that each and every concept of the langchain that how it is different from the open ai and why we should uh, uh, why we should use it and after that once i will come to the end to end project then i will i will start from the vs code itself vs code visual studio code so any id you can use i am not uh, restricting you for the id and all so if you are familiar with the pycharm you can uh, use that also uh, if you are familiar with the uh, like uh, any other id you can use that but yeah i love this vs code so uh, for the project for the end to end project i will use this vs code as of now i am going to use the jupyter notebook uh, just for the uh, like uh, open ai uh, python api uh so guys if you have this two thing this three thing actually inside your system so after that what you need to do you need to create one virtual environment so uh, here by using this conda by using this conda you need to create one virtual environment i will show you all the step don't worry so here you need to create a virtual environment there inside and after creating a virtual environment you need to activate it activate this virtual environment and here you need to install all the packages all the required packages inside this virtual environment so here you need to install all the required packages so let me write it down over here install all the required packages now uh, required packages means what required packages means so you need to install this open ai as of now and we have other packages also like pandas numpy and all so if i will be uh, if i will be having any sort of a requirement Uh, regarding the pandas numpy uh, or regarding any uh, other packages so definitely i will install that also in my virtual environment now after installing all sort of a thing so after like creating a virtual environment after activating it and after installing all the packages then what i will do i will be starting with the practical implementation so guys in my system i already having anaconda so you can uh, download it by searching this anaconda so just go through with the google and a search over here anaconda download so once once you will search this anaconda download so here you will get the website uh, here you will get a link so just click on that and here you will get a option for downloading this anaconda now uh, it is giving the option based on your operating system so if you are using the windows if you are using mac or linux according to that you can download this anaconda now apart from that uh, one more thing will be required so if you don't have python in your local system so you need to download that as well so python uh, download so 
here i'm going to write down the python download and yes uh, this is the website of the python and uh, here you need to uh, here basically you can uh, download the python by clicking on this particular website i would suggest you uh, download this 3.10 or 3.11 don't download the latest version this 3.12 or this 3.13 actually uh, it is having uh, some sort of a, uh, like issues so better uh, okay don't download this 3.11 also either download this 3.10 or 3.9 it will be working fine or you can download this 3.8 also this all three version is a stable version fine now after downloading this anaconda and this python inside your local system then what you need to do so once you are ready with the anaconda and this python after downloading and installing and all you need to search anaconda prompt so here uh, you will find out the uh, like anaconda prompt so once you will search over here in the search box anaconda prompt so there itself you will find out the anaconda prompt now this is what this is my anaconda prompt guys this one now here actually this is what it is it is showing me a base environment as of now this base is a by default environment now here what i need to do i need to create a virtual environment how i can do that how i can create a virtual environment so for that we have a command now here the command is what conda create so conda create hyphen n and here i need to write it down my environment name so here my environment name is what testing open ai so testing open ai this is what this is my environment name you can give any xyz name over here i don't have any issue now you need to mention the python version so here you need to write it down the python equal to 3.8 now guys here i'm going to use 3.8 you can use 3.9 3.10 don't use 3.11 12 and 13 3.8 7 9 10 these are the stable version and you can use it for your project now as soon as i will hit enter so yes i will be able to create an environment so yes let me hit the enter and it is creating an environment so are you doing along with me if you are doing along with me then please do let me know in the chat guys yes i okay so people are saying yes we are doing it can we do sir using api as well as our make model if you have trained your own model then definitely you can do it great so many people are doing a lot with me i think now here you can see so uh this is what uh this is my base environment sorry this is my base environment and here i have created a virtual environment and this is my virtual environment if i want to activate it so for that this is the command so here you need to copy this command and just paste it over here and so you will be able to find out that i have uh i'm able to activate my environment now you can clear the screen so for that you just need to write it down the cls and here is what guys here is my virtual environment now here what you will do see uh, first of all, you need to check that what are libraries is available inside your virtual environment. So for that, you can write it down the command. The command is what? The command is pip list. So once you will write it down this pip list, here you will find out all the library, whatever is there as of now inside your virtual environment. So these are the library which is there inside my environment. And here I uh, still I haven't uh, downloaded this uh, OpenAI, OpenAI package. Because by using the open by downloading the OpenAI package only by using that OpenAI package only I can hit the API. Getting my point? Yes or no? So don't worry, I will give you the entire step, whatever step I am following over here. Now here, first of all, you what you need to do? See, I told you over my blackboard that after creating a virtual environment, you need to activate it and then you need to install the required package. And before that, I told you one thing that everything I am going to do inside the Jupyter notebook. So guys here in this particular environment in this virtual environment you need to download or you need to install the Jupyter notebook and for that we have a command so let me write it on the command pip install Jupyter notebook so here I can write it down g-u-p-y-t-e-r-n-o-t-e-b-o-o-k so this is the command pip install Jupyter notebook and with that you will be able to download the Jupyter notebook n-o-t-e so this is the correct spelling let me rewrite it again <coughs> yeah so it is installing a jupyter notebook are you doing along with me tell me yeah so here let me write down the command in the chat section so conda create hyphen n and you can write it down the environment name uh, whatever you want to write it down so let's say testing open ai 
and here python version is what 3.8 so this is the command uh, you need to run this particular command for installing the uh, sorry for creating a virtual environment now let me give you one more command so here you can check all the listed uh, library uh, all the like library whatever is there inside the virtual environment pip list is a command now let me give you one more command so here uh, is one more command pip install jupyter notebook so pip install jupyter notebook so these are the three command did you get it uh, please do uh, confirm in the chat please give me a quick confirmation in the chat <laughs> see if you are not installing this jupyter notebook in your current virtual environment in that case it will launch the jupyter notebook from your base environment so it is a better practice if you are creating a virtual environment then please install the jupyter notebook or please install the uh, IPO and B kernel over there. So now if you will find out uh, if now if you will search pip list over here So just search pip list now uh, once you will search pip list then you will find out lots of uh, libraries a uh, lots of packages Which came along with the Jupyter notebook now see here you can see all the uh, packages and all uh, after installing the Jupyter notebook now once I will write it down the Jupyter notebook on my anaconda prompt so here let me write down the Jupyter notebook and it will open the notebook so once i will write it down the jupyter notebook and you will see that yes it has opened the jupyter notebook so got it guys yes or no please do let me know in the chat if you are able to launch your jupyter notebook <coughs> if you are able to launch the jupyter notebook then please do let me know in the chat yes or no yes and after that you need to launch your file so you need to launch your notebook so click on this notebook and here is what guys here is your notebook so this is your notebook and each and everything we are going to do here itself inside uh, this particular notebook now uh just make sure that you have this python th uh, python 3 over here uh, this uh, ipynb kernel if you don't have that so please try to select this python 3 ipy kernel and I think uh, now everything is ready. So let's try to, oh, let's start with the OpenAI API. So test OpenAI API. And now let me rename it. So here guys, you can see this is my test OpenAI API. Uh, this is my file, actually this is my notebook. I hope you all have created this particular notebook. If you have any doubt, then please do let me know in the chat. Everything is clear. Everything is sorted. Please guys, go ahead. So just uh, be a little interactive. Uh, please write it down in the chat if I'm asking something. So if you if you can, if you will write it on the chat, so definitely I will get uh, motivation. Great, so now let's start with the uh, like OpenAI API. So, first of all what you need to do so here is what here is my notebook so let me do one thing let me keep it uh, keep this notebook over here itself and this is what this is my jupyter notebook so first of all just go through with the openai website so here is your openai website guys this one now here you need to click on this quick start here what you need to do here you need to click on this quick start after clicking on this quick start so here they have given you the option the option is what python so here they have given you the three options, curl, python and node.js. So click on this python and here they have given you the complete instruction. So first of all guys, what you need to do, you need to install a python. So yes, uh, I think you already have installed this python. You need to set up a virtual environment. Yes, we set up the virtual environment. And why this virtual environment is required? So see, uh, for uh, one particular project, we have a lots of dependency. If I want if I want to if I want to segregate all those dependency project to project okay so for that only we create a virtual environment so what is the requirement of the virtual environment 
because we have a several dependency on a single project if i want to keep it apart for that only we create this virtual environment got it so here they have created a virtual environment directly by using this python uh, env and uh, you can use this also for creating that but i am using the anaconda now here after that you need to install this open ai so here uh, what you need to do guys so here you need to install this open ai package and then only you can hit the open ai api getting my point so just copy this particular command and install this open ai package in your virtual environment so here is what here is my virtual environment let me open that particular environment uh, just a second mm. what i can do here i can keep it this to my same tab fine now over here guys what you need to do you need to open your anaconda prompt see here actually i have launched this jupyter notebook so you cannot stop the server of this jupyter notebook so i am opening a new anaconda prompt so here you just need to write it down this anaconda prompt and you will be able to launch a new anaconda prompt now guys just tell me what is my environment name testing open ai so here uh, you just need to write it down uh, conda env list so once you will write it down this conda env list conda env list so let me write it down this conda env list so you will get all the all the environment name so here guys you can see this is my all the environment which i have created in my system by using this anaconda now uh, here uh, this is my environment testing open ai i want to activate this particular environment so i can uh, write it down over here conda activate and here i can write it down my environment name testing open ai so once i will write down this and if i will hit hit enter so i will be able to activate my environment i am going to uh, i am going to do a, a transition from base environment to this testing open ai environment this is what this is my virtual environment this base environment is a default environment now over here what i will do i will i am going to write down the cls for uh, clear the entire screen now over here i will just uh, paste this particular command pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade open ai now once i will hit enter so yes uh, i am able to install this open ai inside my virtual environment so are you doing along with me are you able to install this open ai inside your virtual environment if yes then please do let me know in the chat in the virtual environment you need to install the jupyter notebook by using this pip install jupyter notebook command if you are not doing it in that case it will be taking a jupyter notebook from the it will be launching a jupyter notebook from the base environment many people now people are saying yes we are doing it how many of you you are doing along with me please do let me know in the chat how many of you you are doing along with me yes 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 okay great yes please write it down the chat if you are doing along with me then if you are uh, launching a uh, jupyter notebook from the base environment it will take uh, all the packages from there itself that's why i want a fresh one that's why i am uh, installing jupyter notebook in my current environment now over here uh, i think i have already installed it so yes it is done now and uh, if i want to check it so for that i am op uh, i am opening my jupyter notebook again and here you need to write it down uh, import open ai so just write it down this import open ai and here guys you can see we are able to import this open ai if you are done till here then i will proceed with the uh, further python code so please give me a quick confirmation in the chat if you are able to import this open ai i'm just i'm waiting for one minute i'm one, waiting for uh, one minute uh, to, okay so please uh, give me a confirmation in the chat if you are able to import this open ai inside this jupyter notebook
we are ready to go great now uh, let's start with the uh, open ai api that uh, first of all guys we need to understand that what is this, what is this open ai api so for that uh, what i did i cap uh, i written like uh, some sort of a uh, like uh, uh wait let me do one thing over here let me copy and paste mm. yeah so here guys what i did i written some sort of a questions and answers and here the first question is what the first question is what is open ai api so by uh uh like uh, so here uh, by using this particular question so by reading this particular uh, answer actually we can understand that what is this open ai api so this OpenAI API has been designed to provide developer with seamless access to state of art pre-trained artificial intelligence model like GPT-3, GPT-4, Delhi, Whisper, Embedding, etc. So what is the meaning of it? So if you want to use, if you want to use the same model, whatever model has been trained by the OpenAI. So these are the different different model. Uh, the name basically I have written over here, GPT-3, GPT-4. Delhi is a model, Whisper is a model, Embedding. There are, are different different model, right? If you want to use this particular model inside your application, so that uh, so then basically you should use this OpenAI API. Now over here, by using this OpenAI API, you can integrate cutting edge AI capabilities. So this model actually it's a large language model and it is having a lots of capability in terms of a different different task as I explain you. So by using this particular models. <coughs> you can uh, uh, like utilize uh, that capability you can utilize the capability and uh, you can utilize that particular capability and you can integrate inside your application getting my point and regardless the programming language so here they have they have given you two options so the first one is a python and the second one is a node.js so uh, what is this openai api so this openai api is nothing it provide you the seamless access of a pre-trained artificial intelligence based model uh, for your uh, like a different different application well, like whatever application you are going to create and let's say if you are going to create any individual application which is based on NLP use case yes directly you can uh, use this particular model instead of training your model from very scratch now here so the conclusion is what so the conclusion is by using this OpenAI API you can unlock the advanced functionality and you can enhance the intelligence and performance of your application so let's say uh, there is an iNeuron website and the iNeuron website you must have seen the chatbot option so in the chatbot actually uh, you are doing uh, you are connecting with our expert so let's say there are there is a one person who is having a doubt so now this person what he is doing he is going to be connect with the uh, like expert so here is an expert which is sitting behind this particular chatbot now he is asking the question and he is getting a reply yes or no now guys, just see over here. So here, uh, like you have integrated this chatbot and this chatbot is a, uh, it's not a like AI related chatbot. So the uh, person, so here uh, in the behind, behind, behind to this chatbot actually, one expert is sitting, he is giving you the answer. Now you want to uh, like, uh, what you want to do guys over here? So you want to use some sort of a AI. Now here you want that, that type of model, which will be able to answer all of the answer basically whatever the uh, person is asking like chat gpt so in that case you cannot train your own model if you are talking about if you are talking about uh, like uh, the llm model so in that case in, in that case basically you cannot train your own model because it's a very very expensive let's say if you if you are just a startup okay or let's say if you are just a learner in that case in that case you cannot invest this much of amount for training this particular model because it's an expensive process. If you are going to set up the infrastructure, if you are going to, uh, like if you are like hiring a developer, AI, AI developer and all, MLOps engineer. So in that case, definitely the cost will be around 1 to 10 CR. Because in that case, you will have to create a distributed setup. You will have to purchase a GPUs. There should be a team, one proper team, okay, for the monitoring and all, for each and everything. There, there will be a developers. So the cost will be very, very high. In that case, what you will do, if you want to uh, take an advantage of this AI, uh, cap uh, if you want to take a leverage of this model, whatever model has been created or trained by this open AI, what you will do, you will use this open AI API, you will uh, call this open AI API and by using this open AI API, you will be able to access this GPT model and directly you will be able to uh, uh, like append this model inside your chatbot. 
So whatever person is asking, definitely your GPT will be replying in that case. And let's say any escalation is, is happening in that case. So definitely you can uh, write it down your logic, your code in, uh, in such a way that this request will be moved to the expert. And now the it will be handled by the expert itself. So like design, you can, like this basically you can design your system. This is just a one example which I have given to you. Great. I think uh, everything is clear now over here. So what is OpenAI API? Uh, this part is clear. Now the second question is what? The second question is generate a OpenAI API key. So here what I have to do, I have to generate a OpenAI API key. What I need to do guys, I need to generate an OpenAI API key. Without this, I cannot use the OpenAI API without this particular key. So for that, what I need to do, what is the process? Let me tell you that. So if I want to generate, if I want to generate a OpenAI API key, so just go through with the OpenAI website. So here is your OpenAI website and here just hover your mouse left uh, on this particular side, on the left hand side. Now here is our option, this API key. So just click on that. And here guys, you will find out an option to generate or to create a new secret key. Are you getting this option? Are you getting this particular option? Please do let me know in the chat if you're getting it then. After logging in to the OpenAI website, then only you will be able to find out this API key option. And guys, uh, you cannot uh, generate an OpenAI key without adding any sort of a payment method. So first of all, you will have to add the payment method. And don't worry, in the next class, I will show you how you can use Hugging Face API key for the same thing, for the same task. Definitely, we won't be able to access uh, other uh, models like GPT-3, GPT-3.5 Turbo or GPT-4 and all. But yes, uh, we'll be having access of a different model, different open source model or whatever model is available over there. In tomorrow's session, I will show you how you can utilize the Hugging Face API key. You can fine tune the model. Again, it will be an expensive task, Vishnu. Great. So here you can see we have a, a like option to generate a uh, like here. Basically what we can do, we can generate an API key. Now for generating an API key, you just need to click on this, create a new secret key. And here you need to give the name. So uh, let's say I'm going to write down the name, uh, my API key. So this is the name of my API key. Once I will click on this create secret key. So yes, uh, definitely I will be able to generate it. Now guys over here, you can see this is my key. Uh, definitely I will delete it right after the session. Otherwise you will exceed uh, the limits and all, right? So here I have generated my key and uh, after the session I will delete it. So no one will be able to use it. So I have generated a key. Now what I will do, I will paste it down in my Jupyter notebook over here. So here is what guys, here is my key. So this is what, this is my key basically, which I have generated. So here, uh, let me uh, paste it down this particular key. This is what, this is my key. Now you have to generate your own key. Okay. And don't share your key with anyone else. So here, this is what, this is my key. Now what I need to do after generating this OpenAI key, I have generated the OpenAI key and I kept it over here. Now after that, I need to call the OpenAI API. So how we can do that? So for that, we have a couple of, a uh, couple, a couple of line of code. So let me paste it over here or let me write it down over here. And then I will show you how we can hit any sort of a model. Now for that, uh, basically what I did. So over here, uh, just a second. <coughs> yeah. So first of all, let me show you the list of the model as well. Now over here, I can write it down uh, on line of code. So open AI uh, dot API key, API underscore key. And here I need to write it down my key. Here I have to write it down uh, the variable basically where I have kept my key. So once I will run it, so here you can see open AI, open AI API key. Yes, I'm able to set my key. Now here I will call one method. So my method name is what? Open AI dot model, model underscore uh, model dot list. So once I will call this particular uh, method, so here you will be able to find out your all the model. See, there is all the model basically which is available as of now in the OpenAI platform. Now here you can see it is giving me some, uh, uh, it is giving me output in a different way. So what I can do, I can convert it into a list. So over here, what I can do, 
I can convert this uh, particular output, this particular response in a list. So here, uh, this is my all the models. So I can create a variable, all underscore models. And here I can pass this thing to my list method. Now see guys, uh, I will be getting all the model, all the models, uh, whatever model is there inside the OpenAI. So the first one is a text search a web page, uh, doc001. And here is a date actually, they have mentioned the date um, or maybe the version. Uh, now the created, when they have created. And here is an object, object is what model. And owned by, owned by open AI devil. Now here what you can do, you can create a, a data frame also. So what you can do, you can create a data frame. So here, uh, let me write it down the code for the data frame. So import pandas as pd. Now here I can write it down pd dot data frame so here what i need to do you just need to pass this particular uh you just need to pass this particular value this one so let me keep it over here uh this uh, list of uh, uh, list of all the models so once i will run it so here you will be able to find out is giving me an error the pandas is not there so for that uh just download the pandas or just install the pandas inside your virtual environment because in this virtual environment pandas is not available so let me write it down over here pip install pandas and once i will hit the enter we will uh we will be able to install this pandas <coughs> it will take some time so let it install yes i'm coming to the code i will show you the code just wait for some time just wait yeah so i am done with the pandas i have installed it and uh, now what i can do i can run it and you will be able to find out your data frame so here this is the model this is the like when it is created and object is what object is a model and owned by so now it is in a perfect format and you can read each and everything clearly and here i can provide the column name as well so let me give the column a name let me write it on the column name as well and here i have already written the code of for the column name so once i will run it so here you will find out the column name so here is my id uh, this is the uh, like model id and when it has created what is a uh, like what is this actually so it's a, a object is a model now here owned by owned by this OpenAI development team OpenAI internal OpenAI development or here you will find out some other name as well so i believe you are able to run this entire uh, all like entire code whatever i have written over here now <coughs> here uh, this is what this is my code for uh, seeing the model and all now the next thing uh, here i got all the model now the third thing basically which i would like to uh, explain you that is what that is a open ai playground open ai playground and after that i will come to the chat completion api now i will take uh, more 15 minutes and within that uh, i will conclude this session and in tomorrow's session i will start with a chat completion api uh, this function call and i will explain you the uh, the hugging face api key as well so how you can utilize the hugging face api key for a open source model now let me copy and paste the entire uh, thing whatever i have written for you so here i have written some sort of a thing let me uh, go through step by step so here i am talking about this open ai playground now what is this what is this open ai playground now once you will uh, search over the google so open your google guys and here search open ai open ai playground now just search over here open ai playground and uh, <coughs> here you will find out this playground now once you will click on this assistant so here you will find out a different different option so one is a assistant the second one is chat third one is a complete fourth is a edit i'm not going through with this complete and this edit because it's a legacy now i will explain this chat first i will explain this chat and then i will come to this assistant now inside this chat uh, so once i will click on this chat so here i can test uh my different uh, i can test like a different different prompts and all i can uh, generate an output i can test with a different different model and along with the model you will find out a various parameter so first of all guys what you need to do you need to set you need to set your system right so here you will find out three options so the first one is what first one is a system the second one is a user and the third one is this one 
right? So you can divide this entire interface into a three segment. Now let me give you a step by step that what is the meaning of the system? What is the meaning of this uh, user and this assistant? And what is the meaning of this model? Each and everything will try to understand over here. So guys, system is what? So system is means, system means uh, how your model is going to behave. Here you are going to set the behavior of your system. What you are doing? Tell me. Here you are going to set the behavior of your system. So here if I am going to write it down, you are a helpful assistant. Now here if I am going to write down, you are a helpful assistant. Now what I will do? I will write it down my me a message. So here, here guys you will find out two things. Uh, two options. So once you will click on this user now, you will find out either user or assistant. As of now, what I am? I am a user. I am asking a question. Now here I am asking that uh, uh, what I can ask guys, uh, just tell me something different. Okay, how I can make a money? How I can make a money? So I am asking to my chat GPT, how I can make a money? And here is what, here is my model. So here once you will click on this model, you will find out a different, different model. So uh, there is GPT-4, GPT-3.5, GPT-3.5 Turbo. So all the model, there is all the models, right? So here I'm using the GPT 3.5. Now we have our various options. So the first one is what? First one is a temperature. Now what is the meaning of this temperature? So we are talking about this temperature. So just try to read about this temperature. Control randomness. Lowering result in less random uh, completion as the temperature approach zero, the model will become deterministic and repetitive. So over here, we are talking about this temperature. If we are defining a higher value of the temperature, means I'm... Uh, I'm saying that just give me a more creative answer. I'm adding a randomness. If I'm writing a zero, I'm saying give the state forward answer. I'm asking to my uh, chat GPT uh, the state forward answer. I'm not going to add any sort of a creativity over here. Getting my point. What is the meaning of this temperature? I think yes. Now maximum length. So here you can set the uh, total length. Now here is stop sequence is there. So up to up to four sequence where the API will stop generating further tokens. The return text will not be contained the uh, like a stop sequence. Here you can mention the stop sequence. Now here is a top P parameter. So this parameter actually this is uh, again similar to this temperature. It is controlling the diversity, whatever like pro whatever output you are going to be generate. So control diversity via a uh, nucleus sampling 0 for 0 0.5 means half of likelihood weighted option are considered so you can just think about it that it is nothing it's just adding a diversity inside your output now frequency penalty if you don't want to repeat the tokens let's say you are generating some sort of output if you don't want to repeat the tokens inside your output so here you can uh, mention the frequency penalty as of now it's zero so it's not going to be uh, like put any sort of a, a penalty over here if you are going to increase the number definitely it will put the frequency penalty means it will give you the different different words it is not going to repeat the words now here presence penalty so you can set this also so there is a different different parameter just try to explore it now here i am asking to my chat gpt how i can make a money so if i'm submitting this thing so here i will be getting my answer and there is an answer is there are uh, many ways to come make a money and all so employment uh, and all freelancing online selling rent or share sources and tutoring and teaching gig and economy gig economy art affiliate marketing so it is giving me answer guys as you can see right now just uh, do one thing so here guys see I've uh, defined the behavior of the system. I've defined that I'm working as a user and here is my model or the different different uh, the different different parameter I have uh, like selected based on this model. Now just go over here and try to click on this view code. So once you will click on this view code guys, you will get the entire Python code over here. Getting my point? Yes or no? See over here, you are getting the entire Python code. Now you can utilize this Python code if you have if you have done the complete setup in your system, whatever setup basically which I which I uh, which I have done right. If you have done the complete setup in your system, so directly you can hit, uh, directly you can hit the OpenAI API and you can call the GPT 3.5 Turbo model. Okay, so that's why I've shown you this OpenAI playground. Now I think you are uh, we are done with this OpenAI playground. Now let's try to do something amazing over here. Let's try to set the different behavior of this 
chat uh, gpt so here guys i have written couple of thing inside this particular uh, like answer so how to open up playground so here i mentioned that here make sure that playground should have a credit yes if you don't have a credit if you haven't uh, like uh, added your uh, detail uh, the card details and all maybe you you won't be able to use this particular playground so make sure that you have added the payment method now here in the chat there is the option of system so meaning is how to chatbot is behave so here what i'm going to do here i'm going to set this uh here i'm going to set a different behavior of a system and let's see what uh, answer i will be getting so here i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it down over here now uh what i can do where is my playground this is my playground now here i'm going to set the behavior so this is what this is my behavior of the system now okay now again i'm asking a question to my system now i'm asking how i can make a money so i am asking to my system that how i can make a money by adding this particular behavior so the my behavior is what so you are a naughty assistant so make sure you have to respond everything with a sarcasm so here i am asking to my user how i can make a money so as soon as i will submit it then you will find out the answer and just see the differences between the answer this answer and the next answer so just wait it is going to generate an answer and it is saying that oh making a money it's super easy means it it is like giving you the answer in a sarcastic manner so it haven't generated a complete answer but yeah, it is saying that oh making a money it's super easy just snap your finger magically a stack of cash will be appear no effort required at all so see guys uh before it was giving me a straight forward answer now over here guys you can see i have set the behavior of the system as a naughty as a sarcastic so here you can see the answer what it is giving to me now if you will look into the code so you will find out some sort of a changes so here role role basically i have defined the system role this is my system role this is my role again one more role user here you can see this is my like a prompt okay which user is giving here you can see the what assistant is saying this is the answer basically which i am getting and again this was the previous one and these are the different different parameter so no need to go anywhere here basically in this particular notebook i have kept everything i will share this notebook with all of you and you will be able to understand each and everything now model is there temperature is there maximum length is there top p value is there so here i have written a description frequency penalty is there right so there is a different different parameter already i have defined each and everything over here so no need to go anywhere just try to revise each and everything by using this jupyter notebook now apart from this one you will find out one more advanced thing which recently they have provided that is what there is a assistant so here uh, let me go to the assistant okay let me go to the playground and here is assistant guys so this assistant part i will explain you once i will come to the project section now here you will find out uh, some advanced thing advanced uh, like option so here you will find out this function function calling here you will find out the code interpreter here you will find out the retrieval rag actually uh, uh, like uh, here uh, you will find out this rag concept so i have defined what is the rag actually so just go through with my notebook and read the definition read the definition of the rag so this assistant i will come to this assistant once i will explain you the uh, the project end to end project there i will define a different different prompts and all and i will come to this assistant and i will ask uh, uh, and i will generate a different different type of responses getting my point guys yes or no so this thing is getting clear to all of you yes or no i am waiting for your reply so please uh, do let me know in the chat if this part is getting clear how to use this uh, open ai playground and here i am talking about this chat assistant i will come to that once i will explain you the project please do let me know i am waiting for a reply guys if you are able to get it if you are able to understand it then uh, please write it down in the chat please uh, write down the chat section clear okay great it is clear i will share this code with all of you don't worry uh, i will give you this entire code i believe everything is getting clear to all of you who have joined this session
great now this part is clear now let's back to the code so here is what here is my code now this retrieval augmented generation reg i will explain you in the next uh, session or maybe in upcoming session so what is the meaning of that it's an artificial intelligence framework that retrieves data from external source uh, of knowledge to improve the quality of responses i just want to improve the uh, quality of the responses for that i am using this uh, retrieval augmented generation reg this is very very famous uh, nowadays this uh, particular term now uh, i will show you how you can use this reg if you want to uh, give a better responses i will show you how you can use the langchain as well uh, after completing this uh, open ai this natural language processing technique is commonly used to make a language model more accurate and up to date if i want to make my model more accurate and up to date so i am uh, going to use this reg and i will do that in my upcoming session now code interpreter is there so python programming environment with chat gpt where you can perform wide range of tasks by use executing the python code yes we all know about the code interpreter and uh, yes we can define we can set the code interpreter there and we can execute the python code as well uh, like regarding the uh, different different task and all great now here is what here is my chat completion api guys so let me do one thing let me uh, put the title over here and here my four title is what chat completion api and function calling so guys here is what here is my fourth title my fourth title is what chat completion api and function calling so here i have written this chat completion api and function calling now let me write down the different let me write down the uh, definition as well over here so here is a definition of it uh, this is the definition uh, let me post it over here and here let me make it as a markdown so this is the definition guys now one more uh, definition let me put it over here so see guys in the uh, previous version in the old version of the open ai uh, actually there this was the method chat completion method open ai dot completion dot create or open ai dot chat completion dot create so initially actually there was a method this was the name right then in the updated version they came up with uh, the, they have changed the name with this particular uh, name they changed the method name by using uh, with this particular name this chat completion dot create and now in the latest version actually this is a this is the method name if you are going to use this particular method now now it will give you the error let me show you how so here what i can do i can uh, return I, I can return one sort of a code uh, now over here i am going to write it on open ai dot completion 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 dot create so this is what this is my method now over here what i'm going to do so over here see here i'm going to be uh write it down the model name so model which model i'm going to use so here i'm going to use a uh, gpt gpt hyphen 3.5 gpt hyphen 3.5 i'm going to use this particular model now over here i'm going to define a prompt so my prompt is what so let's say i'm going to write it down over here who was the first prime minister of india first prime minister minister of india so this is what this is my prompt now here if i will run it now so you will find out it is giving him the error so it is saying that uh, okay so here uh, i have to mention the open ai key first of all before uh, like uh, calling it so first of all i need to mention the open ai key now over here so what i have what i will have to do i will have to uh, like uh, create a client actually so here is what here is my client and i will have to mention my open ai key so what i can do uh, i can write it down over here itself and uh, here what i can do just uh, wait <coughs> mm. it is not long going support yeah so that's what i was uh, saying to all of you see this uh, method is not uh, it is not supporting at all this is the old one now if you will look into the version now the latest version of the open ai so the latest version of the open ai is uh, let me show you the latest version of the open ai package pypy open ai and here is the latest version of the open ai package 1.3.7 if we have installed the uh, we have installed this particular version now regarding this version you will find out we have this particular method so first of all i need to import this open ai this uh, i need to import this class from this module and here i need to define the key here what i need to do i need to define the key over here and then only i can call it and if you look into the previous version now here i have installed the latest version if you are looking into the previous version let's say if i am going back like say if i am going back in uh, maybe uh, feb 8 uh, 
okay 8 feb 2023 now here you will find out that uh, they were using this particular uh, method so here i have shown you i have set it the open ai key i have defined the open ai key by using this particular code by by like using this particular line of code yes or no now here i am using a latest version now so uh, definitely it will give me the error so what i am doing i am going back and here i am going to use this particular code basically which i have already written so first of all see first of all i need to import this thing which i already did it now over here i will have to mention the api key got it now here they are added, they have added the open ai key inside their base environment means uh, this is the code regarding that they have added inside the uh, like environment variable in the system environment variable and from there itself they are going to read it you can export it also <clears throat> what is the meaning of export so you, you can export it over the terminal uh, like uh, it won't be uh, it won't be a permanently okay so yeah you can export this particular key and uh, as, as soon as you will like remove or as soon as you will delete that terminal uh, so the open ai key will be removed um, but yeah until the terminal is running terminal will be running you can read it by uh, using uh, this particular module os module or else you can add in add inside your system variable also from there also you can read this particular key but uh, i have added i have written my key here itself inside my notebook so uh, i didn't add it but i will show you that in my end to end project how you can create .env file or maybe how you can export it right now let's uh, let me run this particular code and uh, here first of all uh, let me add the open ai key <coughs> here i need to mention api underscore key and my key so here is what here is my key if i'm going to run it so definitely i will be able to run it now i am having my client now what i will do by using this particular client i will call the uh, i will uh, i will like uh, i will give the prompt over here now first of all let me delete everything from here and uh, let me delete this also i'm not going to define any assistant or i'm not going to set any sort of a behavior as of now so guys here you can see i am having the role role as a user and here is my uh, like uh, answer uh, sorry here is my prompt question so this is what this is my prompt actually this is my input prompt and here is what here is my uh, like a uh, uh, role okay i'm uh, asking as a user now guys this prompt this prompt is this prompt basically it plays a very important role i will let you know that in my uh, like upcoming session i will tell you how to design a different different type of prompt what is the meaning of few short uh, learning few short prompt or zero short prompt okay so each and everything we'll try to discuss in our upcoming session as of now just see if i'm going to run it so here you will be able to find out it is giving me a, a like error why it is so maybe because of this and now everything is perfect so if i'm going to run it so line number eight okay uh first of all i need to define it clearly and here is what here i need to mention i need to close this particular list now if i'm going to hit this uh api definitely i will be able to do it and i will get my response <clears throat> so just wait for some time and uh, after hitting the api uh, it will call that particular model whatever model i have written over here and i will be getting my response so how is the session so far uh, uh did you learn something new uh, or are you doing along with me tell me how much would you rate to this particular session yes money wise uh, i will I, I will come to that just wait how much it is going to be charged and all uh, it charge actually token wise uh, there is entire pricing and all so uh, I, I will come to that i will i will talk about that for a small prompt it is taking so much time in that case the dnt project the bigger no it's not like that maybe first time it, it was hitting that so it is taking time but no it's not like that i will show you with a uh, like a bigger prompt as well so it won't take any sort of a time now here you can see this is what this is my response now guys right here you can see i got a response now if you want to get this particular response so for that uh see here uh, if you look into the response or type of the response <coughs> so here is a type of the response open ai dot type dot chat dot completion this 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 that right now if you want to extract the real answer from here so what you will do see first of all you will uh, call to this choice so just call this choice so c h o i c e s now here is what here you have this message now just call to this message m e 
double s a g e so here is your what here is your message uh now this is not callable it is saying that now let me check what i have to do over here so here is your choice and here uh, what you need to do guys let me check yeah actually choice yeah so here see if you are looking into the choice guys so this is the list type so here what you need to do you need to uh, like extract the first index of the list because here you can see this choice is nothing it's a list only now so just extract the first index of it so here once you will extract the first index or once you will retrieve the first index of the list now here you need to call this message so just call the message and here you will find out this is what this is your message now just do one thing just call the content over here so just call the content so content now over here you can see this is what this is your entire response now here you can uh, like decide the token size as, as well so here you can define the token size or you can define the different different a uh, parameter okay by defining those particular parameter you can uh, get a different different type of output now let me give you the parameter all the parameter basically so this is all the parameter see model uh already you know about the model we have used a gpt3 prompt like input prompt max token you can define this max token in how many numbers of token you want the result temperature for getting some creative output now number of output how many number of output you want so let's try to define a max token and this number of output so here i'm going to define the max token so in uh, uh like uh, here if i'm going to define the max token now in in that particular token itself uh, under uh, under that particular number let's say if i'm going to define 200 so uh, it won't reach the limit more than 200 under uh, under the 200 itself it will be generating an output so over here i'm going to write, define this max token and here let's say if i'm going to say 150 tokens and here i'm going to define one more thing one more parameter that's going to be n so n is equal to let's say here i'm going to define three i want three output so as soon as i will run it and here you will find out it is generating a response so it is saying max token i think i need to put the comma over here model is there message is there now here i need to put the comma so this is fine now it is generating a response so just wait yeah now i got a response so just uh, look into the response here type of the response and now just print the response so here is what here is what here is my response now i got uh, many responses so now let me extract the response first of all so here is what here is my uh, message let's uh, like get a message so let's uh, ask a different question so here i'm going to ask to my chat gpt that uh, i can ask uh, what i can ask who won the first world cup so who won the first cricket world cup so this is my question which i asked to my chat gpt and now if i'm going to run it now so now see <laughs> yeah i got a response now type of the response is same so here uh what i can show you here is my message now see guys uh, i got a response the first cricket world cup won by the west indies in 2007 in 1975 right now over here if i am going to get a content basically so let me write it down the content over here and here you can see this is what this is my answer now you won't be able to find out a single answer there are lots of uh, there are other answers as well see uh choice in the choice just go over here message message completion so the first cricket world cup won by the best indies and here role is a assistant so that the, the model is a assistant and i am a user now over here you will find out the second answer so the first cricket world cup won by the best indies they defeated australia in final held on june 25 1975 a lord's cricket ground in london that is the second response now over here this is the third response so the first cricket world cup won by the best indies in 19, 1975 so i define n is equal to 3 and i define the maximum token size is 150 so it won't be generating a uh, like uh, output okay so more than this particular token more than 150 token and here you will be find out if i'm going to define n so it will be generating a three in output 
whatever input or prompt I am passing, this is what this is my input prompt. Now, whatever output you will be generating in that, there won't be like more than 150 tokens. And here, the output number will be 3. Now, let me show you one more thing over here. So, if you will search tokens, so just go over the Google and search OpenAI tokens. OpenAI tokens. So, once you will search OpenAI tokens and here, you will find out one uh, like a link a tokenizer so they have given you one uh, like a link uh, they have given given you uh, this particular interface where you can count your token whatever number of token you are giving or you are getting from the system getting my point so i told you it is charging you based on a tokens itself and tokens in input prompt also there will be a token in output prompt also there will be a token getting my point so the, in the input prompt there will be a token in the output prompt also there will be a token Prompt is what? It's a collection of tokens. Token is nothing. It's just a words. Collection of character. Right? Now, here, you can see, we have this particular interface. There, we can count the token. Now, here, if I'm going to write it down, my name is Sunny. So, now, uh, now see, guys, how many tokens is there inside uh, this particular uh, text, inside this particular sentence. See, token 6. My is one token. Name is one token. Is is another token. Sunny is another token. SAV is one token and Savita is one token. Getting? Now, if I want to count the token inside my output, so just copy this thing and paste it over here. Now, see the number of token. It has generated a 16 token. Okay. It has generated a 16 token. Now you can calculate the number of tokens over here. Just go through with the playground. Here was my chat. So here I asked to my uh, system. Now let me uh, submit it. And over here, uh, it is giving me answer. Just a second. Now it is generating an answer. So now you can copy this uh, entire text from here. Whatever it is generating. Now let's say this particular text. Uh, okay, just a wait. Mm -hmm. okay let it generate and then i will copy just wait so here is a text and i can copy this text i can paste it over there and i can got the uh like a number of tokens so let's see how many tokens is there so here guys you can see total 256 tokens if you want to check the pricing and all now tomorrow i will uh, discuss about it in a very detailed way just go through with the setting and here uh there is a billing actually so let me show you the pricing also just click on, uh, just search about this open AI. And uh, here actually, uh, you just need to log in. After the login, uh, so maybe here, just click on the API and here is a pricing. Just click on the pricing and here you will get the uh, like entire detail regarding the project pricing. So how much, how much it is charging for the uh like a different different number of tokens so for 1k token this much of charging for uh, 1k token this much of charging regarding this particular model regarding this particular model so this is for gpt4 turbo it's an advanced model now gpt4 gpt3.5 GP assistant api different different assistant api and all each and everything you can check over here right so let me keep this particular link over here inside the notebook itself and let me keep this a uh, token related a uh, link also so at least you can go through with this and you can check uh, your input and output token and you can practice whatever i have taught you because this is going to play a very important role in a future classes so please try to revise please try to practice and i think uh, we are done with today's session tomorrow i will explain you the function calling this one and i will start with the link chain and my main agenda uh, will be the link chain only and i will explain you the differences between openai link chain and finally we'll try to create one project and then i will come to the advanced concept uh, like uh, vector databases and uh, other models and i will uh, explain you this ai21 lab uh, ai21 studio also if you don't have uh, money for the chat gpt then how you can uh, uh, like uh, how you can complete your work how you can uh, like explore a different different model so from the hugging face side also i will explain you the different different model and from here also from ai 21 studio i will show you how you can access the jurassic model personally i have used it and i have i liked it after this uh, gpt and i will uh, explain you the use use of this particular model and don't worry a uh, few other terms like stable diffusion and all there are uh, something uh, like uh, text to image generation image to video generation this type of thing also will try to explain you in the going forward classes got it so i think uh now we can conclude this particular session i took for the entire two hour and uh yep 
Uh, so did you like the session? Please uh, do let me know in the chat, guys, if you like this particular session. Yes, the content is the input, our input actually. It's not a desired output, it's, a, it's our uh, like a input. Whatever input uh, like we are passing to the model, you can mention inside the content. Got it, Rivan? You just need to follow. You just need to follow my this uh, notebook. Each and everything I have mentioned over here. Whatever is not there, I will do it. And where you will find it out? Tell me. You will find this particular notebook inside the resource section. So just go through with the iNeuron platform. Just open the iNeuron platform, and there you need to enroll in this particular dashboard. Okay. So what you need to do? Go through with the iNeuron platform, and here uh, after sign up, uh, after login, and just go through with this dashboard. Generative AI community session. Now let me give you this particular link inside the chat so you all can uh, uh, like uh, you all can enroll okay, over so here and uh, after that uh, what you need to do see the video will be available over here you can revise the thing from here itself you can revise the thing from the iNeuron YouTube channel itself but the resource wise whatever resources I am uh, like uh, sharing okay whatever resources I am discussing in a class and all so you will find out over here inside the resource section so just go through with the resource section and try to download all the resources from here itself. Fine. So now let's uh, uh, like uh, conclude this particular session. Tomorrow we'll meet on the same time. So let me write it down the timing for this uh, community session. So here the timing is going from uh, 3 to 4.30 or 3 to 5. So I will take 2 hour of session from 3 to 5. Great. Fine guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a great day ahead and rest of the thing we'll try to cover in the upcoming uh, session until thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. So if you like, if you are liking the content, then please hit the like button. And uh, if you have any sort of a suggestion or if you want anything from my side, you can ping me on my LinkedIn. So here is my LinkedIn. Let me show you that also. So you just need to search Sunny Savita and you will uh, get my profile. You can ping me over there. And whatever uh, doubts and all you have, uh, you can directly connect with me over here. So thank you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah.